Good afternoon and welcome to Coda Bear's Lunch and Learn for today. My name is Michael Podlin and today's topic we're going to be talking about image maintenance in the Epicor system. Quick overview of today's lesson. We're going to show you how to set up categories and subcategories which could be used later to help identify and search for your images. We are going to talk about importing images. Uh, we can import single image, we can import multiple images at once, or we can import an entire directory of images. We're also going to show you how to edit the image details. Uh, there isn't much that can be edited, but uh, you can change a couple things. And the last uh, thing we will cover is we will show you how to use and attach these images to records once you've imported and added them to E10. The first step we want to do is we want to set up our categories and subcategories. We're going to navigate to the system setup, system maintenance, and select the image category. The categories are basically used to help identify and group your images into easily manageable uh, searches uh, so you're not searching through hundreds and thousands of images uh, when you're trying to find an image to attach to a record. After we've set up our categories our next step will be to go and import our images that we will be using for our uh, parts or employees or whatever else we plan on attaching the images to. To import images we need to navigate to, again to the system setup system maintenance and here we will select the image maintenance. Importing the images are fairly simple. After you've opened the image maintenance you can select the import image then the method you're going to choose is either going to be a single multiple or a whole directory depending on what you select as your method the fields below it will become enabled the little uh, box with the three dots you can click on to then browse out to find either the directory or the image or the multiple images that you will be selecting after you've browsed and selected your image files or directory containing your image files, you are now want to assign your category and subcategory. Uh, these, like I said again, are used to help identify these images for search purposes. If you've used the action menu to do an image export from a, another database that you plan on pulling the images into this database. You can collect, select the little checkbox and browse out to the exported image file and use this to import images from another database into a new database. There's a few little checkboxes down at the bottom. The first one, the remove extensions, will remove the .bmp, .jpg from the file name. The next one, Update Duplicates, will allow you to import and overwrite images that you've already added. The Rename Duplicates will prevent you from overwriting and rename the images with a new name. As I've mentioned in the overview, you can come back to the Image Maintenance and select an image and call it up to see the properties of it and there are a couple fields that can be edited. Basically it's just the category and subcategory that you can change in case you import it or assign the uh, image to a different category or down the road you decided that you've got too many images of one type and you want to create additional subcategories for it and break it out more. The image size is not editable um, after the image has been brought in. Uh, so it is a good practice to create your images and set a standard for your image size so that you don't have gigantic images that are taking up a lot of space when you only need a small 150 by 150 pixel image for the purpose of identifying a part. So attaching the images to the records, once you have your images 
added to the Epicor database, you now want to go and attach them to records like the employee maintenance or the part maintenance. You can use, navigate out to the employee maintenance and select an employee and then select the image files button, browse out to find your uh, image that you've added and attach it to the employee record. Uh, same with the part, you can identify parts with images. There is also a import button on the uh, attach image records where you can import images directly to the database without having to go through the image maintenance. The import button works very similar to the part or image maintenance uh, screen. You'll browse out, grab your image file, select a category, select a subcategory, and it will attach it to the record in Epicor and it will also add the image to the E10 database. It makes it handy if you've got a single image for an employee record that you just need to quickly add or a brand new part or something. What I'm going to do now is do a quick jump out here and I'm going to walk you through grabbing a part. Uh, so from image maintenance we want to select the actions select import images we're going to grab a single image here we click on the search button navigate out to a folder where we've got our images we can then select our categories I didn't create any subcategories for this example uh, but I could have created like office employees shop employees etc so I will click import here and the import process has been completed successfully so my image has been imported. If I click back out here and search I can see I now have an image added to the database. Again as I mentioned the category can be changed, the subcategory can be changed, the other information is kind of locked in. To add that image now to an employee record, we can go out to the employee database. We can type in the employee number. And over in the image area, we can do a quick search. Here's where our categories and subcategories would be handy. Uh, we can then select our image and it is now added to our employee record. That concludes uh, today's Lunch and Learn. Thank you very much for attending.